Today, our kids need some serious help. Gonna earn her crown. Kesley's earning her crown today. They're just trying to freak us out here. The next 24 hours, we can eat only Christmas menu food. Evie doesn't feel like she fits in. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh Family vlogging. In the ever-evolving landscape of digital media and content creation, one phenomenon that has gained significant attraction is the world of family vlogging. Defined by sharing of daily video content featuring the lives and experiences of families, this genre has become a captivating and influential aspect of online culture. Family vlogging provides a unique window into the daily routines, milestones, and adventures of diverse family units inviting viewers to connect with the joys and challenges of real-life familial dynamics. As technology continues to shape how we share our family stories, vlogging raises intriguing questions about privacy, the impact on children's lives, and the blurred lines between personal and public spheres. This introduction sets the stage for deeper exploration into the world of family vlogging, where the boundaries between the private and public aspects of family life are navigated in the pursuit of connection entertainment, and community engagement. One aspect of family vlogging is their religious beliefs. Although not all of these vloggers hold such strong and public beliefs, religious beliefs that many family vloggers preach can be directly challenged with the ethics behind exploiting their children. Hey there guys, it's Sunday morning and we are off to church. Oh, my daughter was saying her prayers. Eve, she was six years old at the time. We've been practicing some Bible verses. You wanna yeah. show them? Okay, go for it. Cast in the Lord with all your heart. I can do all things. Christ again, me, Frank. Beliefs that children are expected to abide by, no matter what. A lot of these parents, which we'll see soon, are conditioned to believe that their authority is absolute, making lines between right and wrong blurred. And as the rules and punishments become more and more controlling, it's the kids who are stuck on the receiving end of what can turn into physical and emotional abuse. Vlogging has gained much popularity when YouTube originally launched in 2005, but being able to have a livable income and making it more than a hobby started around 2016 to 2017 for these vloggers when these videos started to gain millions of views and families were able to quit their jobs for a livable income paid for by the views of their subscribers. Some of the largest family vloggers that hold the largest following on YouTube is the Ace family. With 18.4 million followers, their family shares pranks in the daily lives of the family of five. With 13 million followers, the LeBrant family is another huge player in the vlogging world, capturing their family of five and not being shy about their religious beliefs. Both of these families have massive followers, averaging millions of views for each video. These videos of which fund their lifestyles by shining the light and pressure on their kids. A huge misconception behind family vlogging is that these children who are the stars of these videos are 100% on board with what's going on. Many people believe this since a law in 1939, the Coogan Law, ensured that 15% of all minors' earnings must be set aside in a Coogan account or an account that can be accessed once the child becomes an adult. I bring this law up because we do not understand how these children who are being exploited will be affected long term. There are no regulations in place in order to protect these children from online exploitation by their parents. Although bills are trying to be passed that would protect these children, the children's stars do not technically fall under the rules that apply to child actors. Although we do not know the full effects of the exploitation of these children, we can understand the psychology behind child actors and their experiences. According to Medium, many child stars experience post-traumatic stress disorder due to abuse, neglect, financial abuse, sexual abuse, and overall stress on set. Many child stars that are now adults have speaked out about abuse they experience on TV sets and being taken advantage. Considering majority of these child stars are famous from blogging are barely adults yet, we do not know the full effects, but these children face cameras in their face for hours every day, documenting every interesting, boring, happy, sad, and all the different exploited parts of their lives. Based on this, it is within reason to predict that these kids will suffer from similar issues such as PTSD as adults. You might be reasoning with yourself and arguing that although this might not be morally right, these families are not doing anything outright cruel, but I beg to differ. Jordan Cheyenne, vlogger mom turned to scandal, gained attraction in 2021 when she made her son pose and act sad for a thumbnail for her YouTube video starring around the death of their family dog. So if you could pray for us, 
we appreciate it. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> come here. Come closer for the video. Come closer. I'm closer. I'm closer. Put your head. Put your head right here. I'm closer. Closer. Down. Put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. The LeBrant family, being one of the largest family bloggers, has been caught in a few scandals over the year. In 2018, the couple faked an evacuation during the California wildfires. The LeBrant's family's neighbors and fire officials claimed the family's home was never in danger and that the video was intentionally misleading, making fans fear for their safety under false pretenses. Another scandal the LeBrant family was caught in was when they posted a 40-minute video describing their views on abortion, calling pro-life, pro-love. Their documentary started off by comparing abortion to the Holocaust, claiming abortion to be the most deadly killer in the world. This invalidation of the mass genocide was beyond insensitive, and many took offense. Lastly, when the LeBrants posted another 40-minute documentary with the title, She Got Diagnosed with Cancer, referring to his two-year-old daughter. Their daughter didn't have cancer at all. The entire video was clickbait with the hopes of raising awareness for child cancer by acting like his daughter was the victim and exploiting her, with a lie nonetheless, for views and to gain attraction for a horrible disease that he lied about. The last scandal I want to touch on is Toy Freaks, a popular channel that has since been taken down, which had many family vlogs starring their two daughters. The father, Greg Chisholm, says, quote, My videos were attracting audience members who do not have my children's best interests in their hearts. Their scandal, a video named, quote, Bad Baby, Real Food Fight, Victoria vs. Annabelle, and Freak Daddy Toy Freaks Family, which had 622 million cumulative views. The video starred around making his daughters act like babies and basically humiliate them. I won't show the video because it is very uncomfortable, and I think it says a lot about who was watching this video if it had 622 million views. Family 05 was a popular channel who filmed many prank videos, but ultimately got their account taken down by YouTube after being convicted for five years of probation for child neglect. They subjected their kids to a lot of emotional abuse and physical abuse, even on camera, with one prank having the father, Martin, instruct his son to slap his daughter as his daughter cried. Another family vlogging channel that was found to be abusing their children was a channel called Fantastic Adventures, which followed the lives of their seven adopted children. Their mother, Michelle Hobson, was arrested on two accounts of molestation of a child, seven accounts of child abuse, five counts of child neglect, and five counts of unlawful imprisonment. Her two oldest sons, who were biological, were also were arrested on seven accounts of failing to report abuse of a minor. Lastly, Ruby Frankie, who has been in the media recently has been arrested, was the runner of A Passengers, a channel that has since been taken down. Frankie and her four minor children came to light when her 12-year-old son Russell escaped from Frankie's business partner's home after being tied up and malnourished along with his 10-year-old sister. Frankie's abuse was seen in many of her videos before this. I'm going to say it one more time, and then you're going to lose the privilege to eat dinner. My bedroom was taken away for seven months, and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I hate to tell you this, honey, but unless you find a friend who's willing to share some of their food with you, I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to eat. Although I could make an entire video about Ruby Frankie and her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, who together were arrested for six accounts of aggravated child abuse, the point of all these horrific and public displays of abuse stems from the ethics of family vlogging. With so many of these vloggers preaching religion, they continue to exploit their children's lives in every way. The ethics behind vlogging is wrong, even for the families that just do it occasionally. These children do not get a say in this, they are the victims. Imagine your parents filming almost every single embarrassing, sad, humiliating moment of your life. Now imagine millions see it and will remember it forever. That is family vlogging. These parents make a living off of their children, and I believe many will do what it takes to stay relevant. And the power dynamic and superiority these parents get from exploiting their children, in my opinion, only makes the abuse more relevant. One day, many of you will be parents, and when you are, I hope many of you think about what is right for your child and remember the danger, corruption, and ethics behind exploiting your children. No child should have to sacrifice their privacy for the sake of entertainment. The ethics behind family vlogging can be extremely dark and can be directly challenged by the ethics of family vlogging. You would never want this to happen to you, so stop the cycle.